So uh, this is the introductory session. Uh, we'll be explaining uh, what the concept is, what the project is, and you know how we want to move about into it. So I think you know these are the building blocks of this whole winter school. So it's very important that you understand all these things together. So what we are going to do is you know we'll have very short breaks, you know, and then we'll try to discuss those things inside the group get back and you know we'll because we, we want to make sure that you know everybody understands this and again I'm telling this is not for the experts we, 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 we have even UG students so we want to bring everybody to the same page huh? so uh, this is the structure of today's presentation where we have we will start with what is the India sanitation crisis which actually is our motivation to kind of look at you know why we should intervene uh, we will then look at what is the kind of sanitation imagination at the policy level at the technology level what is the current imagination to kind of address this India sanitation crisis that's the second part and then the third part is you know once we understood that we we found that you know actually centralized imagination is a problem we have to come down to the local level and understand the problem. Uh, so understanding the problem at the town level, that is our third you know, and important issue that we have to discuss today. Then we will get into the winter school of what we have done and what we are going to do. And then we will discuss and clarifications we will have it. So this is a very familiar site that many of you must have seen. You know, it's in Bombay, it's in Alibag, those two slides are, you know, uh, belonging to that. And this means that why India's water bodies are polluted. It's not only because of, you know, liquid waste, but solid waste are also a major problem. Hmm? So, regarding water we use, you know, any way you use water, 80% of that becomes wastewater. Your domestic use, your industrial use, your agriculture use, you know, whatever you, water that you use, 75 to 80 percent of that becomes wastewater. And then it comes and deposits in the kind of, you know, valley portions, you know, lowest geomorphic units in all these physiogravies. So, what we have to do is, you know, um, so, um, so our motivational question that we ask is, should all water bodies in India, especially in small towns, be polluted, remain polluted forever. And if you go to any city, it's the same scene that you're seeing. And that's what I told you, you know, it's not in your generation, are you ready to kind of tackle this issue is the question that we are asking. Hmm? That's our motivational question for this whole winter school. Um, you know, then we have to understand how sanitation as a process actually evolved as all knowledge systems you know it also evolved in the in Europe and also in United States uh, because environmental engineering and environmental science you know these are the kind of disciplines that actually kind of deal with this uh, so we'll look at how they see sanitation so in the beginning the first stage we have something called locally managed sanitation so in the kind of you know pre-industrial revolution towns in Europe, it could be managed at that level itself, with small cities and you know as we actually manage in the villages now, you know it will go to a sock pit or something, it may go to a garden and you know and you are uh, and there was kind of you know there was not much population and all, and then slowly population began to evolve and then we found that human waste becomes a problem but then there was a solution also because agriculture was the main occupation so all this waste used to go back to those farms so there was a cyclical movement of waste from cities to neighboring towns that means there was a ready-made demand for this waste it's not a waste it was a resource because it was fertilizing the agriculture and then comes industrial revolution where 
and and another point is that you know people were not actually aware of this also if you look at the medieval uh, films you will see people are all as dirty you know they don't kind of they are not as clean looking as 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 we see in the hollywood pictures now so there was indifference to kind of sanitation also so because of this it was not a major issue and then comes industrial revolution where you know industrialization happens in in cities and technology develops like steam engines and develop so huge production systems develop in cities which actually demands a lot of labor and all this labor comes to cities so cities you know kind of grow and grow and grow and this actually kind of encompasses villages also cities expand to villages huh? there's a lot of waste that's being produced in cities and agriculture can no longer take it because there's a huge transportation all these things are needed so cities became very filthy and then you have huge epidemics in the kind of you know the early industrial revolution in europe you had many epidemics like uh, plague and cholera and all which are all because of the lack of waste management so then becomes a major issue a technological response comes in that is what we see now as sewerage treatment plants we will call it stps where the, the, there are huge plants which can actually treat this water but these plants are never in cities it may be in the periphery of cities so to make the waste there we have another technology called hydraulic transport of waste that was also discovered that we can actually flush out this waste we can flush the water and then this water can be pumped through sewers it gets into a sewer treatment plant it gets kind of treated there so this was the kind of uh, you know treatment system that developed in the west in industrial revolution times uh, this is also because the demand for fertilizers also demand for this waste came down by 1840s chemical fertilizers were discovered so the mutuality that we had earlier reduced so demand is decreasing you know uh, supply is increasing that's where this new technological revolution comes in and this actually kind of cleaned up european cities in a major way and this became the imagination of everybody so environmental engineering as a discipline sees this as the kind of major solution to the problems which is actually rightly so but imagine this this evolved during a particular time in the history of europe and european societies and then it got transplanted to all over the world how huh exactly so colonization actually because european those small western european nations a few of them actually kind of colonized the whole world at that time you know from 17th century onwards you know this became a major thing so all their knowledge systems got transplanted to colonies also hmm? but it was not a straight forward you know kind of shift also that we'll tell you know what how Uh, the, we will say that you know, there's a sanitation divide that happened when this when this transport of this happened but before that we need to get into some definitions you know so what do you mean by sanitation so that is one thing that we'll look at what does it cover and how is it managed in your city i think you know this is the first exercise that we can do you know so if you can quickly discuss this you know one what is sanitation and the second question is what does it cover that meaning of sanitation and the third one is how is it managed in your city so you can reflect on that because you know why we are doing this is there is a lot of resources within the group otherwise it will be a boring lecture from my side so let us kind of you know quickly just turn and now we know don't write in the chart papers and all somebody quickly note down and then kind of present to us